Bill McDonald here. You know, I'm out here in a kayak today. You know, usually I'm sitting in a Ranger 521 fishing. But the thing of it is, is, you know, we've got to fishing in these kayaks and I'm from Indiana. You know, we don't have a lot of waters and, and our reservoirs are so pressured. I mean, it, it, it's ridiculous how many boats are on those reservoirs. And, you know, the it, fishing's really tough. And I found out that, you know, there's so many farm ponds around that there are so many retention ponds and different things that, you know, we don't have boat ramps to put on. But with a kayak, you know, it's inexpensive. It's a way you can put in fish. It's a relaxing day. And, uh, I mean, uh, the fishing's phenomenal on these things because they're basically undisturbed. And if you're having problems finding these things, go to Google Earth. You know, it's amazing when you go to Google Earth there and you start, just take your address, punch it in there and just start zooming out. And it's amazing the waters you're gonna find. And you know, some of them's in subdivisions, you know, some of them's by these interstates that, that they put in. There's just so many different things out there and so many different ways that you can find that. But go to Google Earth and take a look at these things. You know, when you're out here fishing, keep it simple. You know, I've got one plain old box right here and you can see it's got a watertight gasket there. Fits right underneath the seat, fantastic. You know, you got a jig, you know, if you're gonna bottom bounce, you can take a jig, you can take, you know, one of our big worms here. You know, there's a lot of different things you can throw, but we got bottom bouncers is what I call them. If you wanna go to that middle column, you know, I take this 8.0. It's a great big old wobbling bait. Runs down to about eight feet. And uh, you, you can do a lot of different things with it. You know, you can really burn it or you can take your time, just let it wobble, wobble, wobble. And then the next thing is, you know, top water. We got our sexy dog. So if you wanna go down to the banks and just fish on top, there it is right there, you know. Keep it simple. You can put everything you need in one of these boxes for today. It's watertight, it's all sealed up. You're ready to go. When you get to these ponds, some of them are just open bowls. There's no grass, there's no cover. Those, you know, there's not a lot in them, but a lot of them's got grass, they've got cattails, they've got some rock in them, you know, they've got, you know, some wood in them. Fish all that cover there. And, you know, guys go, well, I don't have a depth finder. But, you know, just an average bait. If I throw that little jig out there, on an average, that thing's gonna fall a foot a second. So you can count it down. You know, wait, throw it out there, cast. If it takes eight seconds to hit the bottom, you know you're eight feet. You throw it to the other side, maybe it's 12. So you know you got a little ridge there. So just get creative with it and have some fun at it. You know, depth and water clarity. You, you know, I, I keep it pretty simple. If the water's dirty, use a dirty bait. You know, I'm talking about a dark color bait. If the water's clean, use a lighter color bait. The cleaner the water, throw your watermelons or your green pumpkins. If the water's really dirty, go to your black and blues. Kind of keep that simple. Now, if you're doing like retention ponds, you know, a lot of the retention ponds is, has a safety ledge. So about eight foot out, it's gonna be fairly shallow and then drop off. So always remember that when you're fishing these retention ponds that are made, you know, by the interstates and in these apartment complexes.